Did you notice your games die last night? Millions of players on the PlayStation Network, Steam, Riot Games, and many other platforms were all knocked offline simultaneously. This was not a server hiccup or routine maintenance. This was a direct, coordinated cyber attack that just shattered a global record. Cybersecurity analysts have confirmed this attack peaked at an almost unbelievable 29.69 terabits per second of traffic making it the largest attack ever recorded. The server disruption started on October 6th, where players on PC platforms like Steam and Riot Games saw sudden lag and total disconnections. Down detector charts instantly spiked, and Riot Games quickly confirmed critical game disconnection issues affecting players across PC and consoles. For Steam, seeing as it was getting late into the night, many just passed it off as some routine maintenance, so many users just waited for it to go away. But the thing is, it wasn't Steam's routine maintenance, as this was nearly an entire day before that's planned. Plus, when you look at the scale and the simultaneous hits on multiple different platforms, it quickly debunks that entire idea, revealing a coordinated attack or some other reason. The first attack wasn't it, as another one happened just a few hours later, in the early hours of October 7th. Sony's PlayStation Network was hit hard, with Down Detector recording nearly 9,000 peak user reports. The primary issue for PSN was 82% server connection failures according to the user reported data. So as gamers were locked out from these networks, they got extremely frustrated complaining about their access to their games, Steam users were reporting errors like cloud sync wasn't working properly, and store pages wouldn't load. But the thing is, not only just hitting Steam, Riot Games and the PlayStation Network, but we also saw other things affected like Epic Games and Fortnite that was causing massive login issues, even the Xbox Network was affected, Battle.net and broader infrastructure providers like AWS and services like Hulu, plus many others were all being affected at the exact same time. By mid-afternoon on October 7th, services began a slow recovery, but that wasn't until a third attack happened, as you can see from this Steam status chart. Riot Games temporarily disabled rank queues to try to help the situation, and while now the core connection issues are largely resolved, as I'm making this video, some users are still reporting problems like Steam Cloud Sync failures. The general consensus among cybersecurity experts is that this was a massive DDoS attack. This simply means the network were overwhelmed by such an insane volume of junk traffic that they couldn't handle legitimate user requests anymore. And the main culprit they are pointing their fingers to is the iSuru botnet. A digital weapon cybersecurity researchers at Xlab first disclosed in August 2024, which at the time DDoS Steam, showing the connection. Isaru is described as the largest active botnet controlling around 300,000 compromised devices worldwide. These aren't high-end servers, they are your everyday devices, like home routers, DVRs, and cameras, all infected and weaponized. This new record of 29.69 terabits per second shattered the previous high of 22.2 terabits per second in a different attack. To quote one cybersecurity analyst, this attack was sophisticated TCP carpet bomb attacks and volumetric floods. This botnet is highly organized. According to Xlab's research, the Isaru group has three key figures. Snow, who handles botnet development, Tom, who finds vulnerabilities, and Forky, who runs the sales and marketing. They've been known to launch attacks for fun, and some past operations even included ideological messaging. So, was this attack on PlayStation, Steam, Riot Games, and the others aimed at gamers specifically, or was it simply a stress test? The non-selective nature of iSaru, which hits several hundred targets daily, according to experts, suggests it may have been a flex of power or a test run before a bigger target. Now, as this has happened multiple times in less than 24 hours, ruining the experience for millions of gamers across various networks, it became very frustrating dealing with the lag, especially those in competitive games but it also seems like it wasn't just gaming platforms that went down. So did non-gaming services like AWS, which has a near one-to-one -one comparison of the downtimes happening every single time Steam was also going down. And it was also impacting the streaming platform Hulu. 
So if you have been trying to play your games over the last 24 hours and were running into these issues, it wasn't your own internet, but a large scale attack. This incident might remind some people about past gaming outages, like the infamous 2014 attacks by Lizard Squad that hit both PSN and Xbox. But the scale of this attack, hitting 29.69 terabits per second, absolutely smashes those past events. Cybersecurity experts from Xlab and other firms have consistently warned that the key to these botnets is the sheer number of compromised consumer devices. They urge you, the users, to take simple steps to protect yourselves, make sure you are regularly patching and updating the firmware on your home router and other devices, like your cameras, your smart doorbells, and other tech. By not securing them, you risk becoming one of the 300,000 silent soldiers in the next Isaru attack. So this is why all these different platforms have been experiencing issues over the past 24 hours.